What's going on, y'all? Neo Synapse for the Super Powered Review. Back with another Division video. Uh, patch notes 1.0.2 dropped uh, a while ago and uh, should be going live around 4 a.m. Eastern. Uh, something that's been going around kill a boss, a specific boss. I won't get into that. But kill a boss, let the ads kill you. Uh, the boss respawns, and you can farm a lot of Phoenix credits really easily that way. No longer. I suppose as of whenever this goes live, that will have been patched. Um, the patch is basically called Named NPCs Will No Longer Respawn After Being Killed in the Open World. This will prevent situations where players were able to kill a, a, a same named NPC over and over again. So uh, get it done today while you can because it's going away. Um, a bunch of other things. Named enemies will now drop better loot in challenge mode than in hard mode. They added a cooldown period for the static turret stun attack in order to avoid a stun lock in PvP and PvE game modes. Um, they fixed an issue where players became stuck in an emote animation if activated via chat while auto running. Fixed a bug where weapon mods and weapon skins would not show up on the other players in the game world. They fixed instances where the seeker mine with air burst slash multi mine mod would detonate too soon, miss targets, or cause no damage. Um, they also did modifications to the weapon talent trained. So it's only going to be rolled on shotgun, marksman rifles, and pistols now. The bonus has been reduced from 1 to 5% to a constant. 0.1%. Uh, for the Midas SMGs, or Midas, train talent has been replaced with responsive talent, which increases damage when getting closer to the target. This applies to existing weapons as well as newly acquired ones. And for all SMGs, LMGs, and assault rifles, it will be replaced with another randomly picked weapon talent. This applies to existing weapons as well as newly acquired ones. Now, one of the, the biggest um, areas of concern with the division has been the dark zone and, and progress in there especially uh, when once you hit 30 31 32 level uh, stuff so a bunch of changes in the dark zone as well that uh, you guys can look forward to players can now heal other neutral players in the dark zone by using first aid and support station skills players are now able to fast travel huge to dark zone checkpoints but only when coming from outside the dark zone. Makes sense. The dark zone disconnect timer has been increased to 30 seconds, meaning players will remain in the game world longer when logging out while in the dark zone. This applies while not in combat. Items extracted from the dark zone are now properly marked as new items when moved to the player's inventory. Players killed in the dark zone now drop ammo, medkits, and grenades. This loot is generated and not taken from the dying player's inventory. Cool. Players killed in the dark zone will lose less dark zone funds and experience. That applies to both rogue and non-rogue players. Dark zone funds and experience rewards for killing rogue agents have been improved. Um, increased drop rate of high-end items from level 31 and 32 named NPCs in the dark zone. Increased drop rate of high-end division tech material from level 32 named NPCs in the dark zone. And uh, fund drop rates, funds drop rates and quantity on NPCs has been reduced. Interesting. Uh, fixed a bug where the wildfire and fear tactics talents were affecting neutral players in the dark zone. And a few other things. Um, Phoenix credits, pretty good. Drop Drop rates have been increased on level 31 and 32 enemies in the dark zones. So le at level 30, 1 to 3 Phoenix credits. At level 31, 2 to 4. At level 32, 3 to 5. And they've improved the dark zone chests items quality. Rank 30 chests will now drop superior items instead of specialized. Keys chests now have a chance to drop high end, which is the gold items. Um, they've got graphics fixes, UI fixes, audio fixes, localization, and PC, Xbox One, and PS4. One of the things on uh, PS4 is um, they've added the option to disable the PlayStation 4 controller speaker. Isaac is super loud sometimes. Unbelievably loud. 
Anyway, I'll post a link in the description below. You guys can check it out for yourselves. I did not list everything here, um, but let me know what you guys think and like, comment, and subscribe. See y'all next time inside the room.